so excited. Welcome to GMI Hub. I'm so excited because this is a listening party for the Christmas song, Christmas is Calling, which I, which I wrote, but not by myself. I wrote with uh, two other people and there were so other, some other people that were involved in this, uh, the making of the song. And I just thought it would be so appropriate to, for us to get together and have a listening party. Now, not everybody's here, but I'm so glad for those who are here. Um, first of all, there's D Dale that's with us, who's our co-host and also a co-songwriter <laughs> for, for Christmas is Calling. Also, Andrew Martin is here with us. Um, and Andrew is also a co-writer and a vocalist, a background vocalist with me. And we have Randy Hitz, who contributed by giving some ideas of that particular song as well, just how it sh how we could do some of the musical background, um, how to how we can produce it a little bit better. So I just thought it would be great. Those that are missing are An Anthony Piano, who actually did the musical arrangement and production and the mix of the song. Uh, Noreen Smith, who was the vocal technician that gave me some tips on how to, um, I guess, develop the appropriate voice for the song. Um, and Oleg Golovitz, Golo, I can't say his name, well, Golovetsky, who um, also, like Randy, had some ideas about um, how the song should be uh, arranged musically and produced. So, well, I'm so glad all of you are here, and I'm excited that you guys get to actually hear this song, this song that I didn't mm -hmm. even think, like this song used to be on my phone as just a little sound bite. That's all it was. And then it became I remember. what you're gonna hear in a few minutes. Yeah, do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And I remember, Dale, you were the one who said, Gerald, you need to write this song. And I kept saying, well, yes. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Yeah. <laughs> I was the uh, so, proverbial fire under her butt, just to try to get this that, thing up. <laughs> <laughs> but then you actually did take the time to sit with me and get the words, mm. like get some of the verses out, because I didn't know yeah. how to get a lot of the expression of what the song was supposed to talk about. So, mm -hmm. um, well, I, I mean, I mean, you, you, you have you about. have the the you had the idea and the concept, and it was really strong. Um, and I think the great thing about songwriting is if you have a good concept, that's where you can start building from. Because um, sometimes people have um, good ideas, but they're not consistent throughout the song. Maybe the verse and chorus doesn't blend well, or they, or there's some aspect of the of the writing that doesn't seem to fit with the first part. Which you didn't have a challenge with that. That that that. So I mean, again, you're starting with an incredible starting point. Mm -hmm. I had the ideas, and I think the whole idea behind the song too was just. Um, going from oct it was the transition it was a transition from october to november to me november is the beginning of christmas and mm -hmm. and i just it was like the big turnover from um i guess all the fall celebrations um halloween and all that other stuff like it just it was just a total transition it's like it's a brand new day and when november mm -hmm. first hits and the sun is shining and everything that that celebrated other stuff was all trashed and now people were putting the Christmas lights on and they're smiling more and they're giving more and there's a lot more hope and I just wanted to capture all of that and mm -hmm. I know through my years of life I've seen different traditions of Christmas um, I always joke about my Charlie Brown tree because I I was so proud of that tree and then I met Daryl and his family and found out that I'm I related to Martha Stewart's teacher. So um, <laughs> I just, <laughs> so as you can see from the background, I'm learning, I'm learning how to, uh, to decorate a little bit more. So <laughs> yeah, you're putting the rest of us to shame because I got nothing. Not to <laughs> oh, look at this. This is awesome. He's got a tree in the background. Give me a break. No, actually it's two, it's but anyway. <laughs> oh, two, two. Oh, oh, that's, I think it feels so much better. Rub it in. Yeah, it's like, it's like just, we'll just in our face with Christmas. Big time. Oh, 
Uh, but 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 you know self. what? I, I I was you you were right about that. The thing is, uh, when whenever we we're in the, like a different headspace, like you're talking about writing the song in a different time in a different season, it is hard. But yeah. I've done it where you've written a Christmas song in the middle of the summer. It's just it's 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 hard to get into that headspace that you need to be in to focus in on that merriment, that holiday kind of season. Yeah. Well, Andrew, you can kind of speak to that too, because you've been challenged to write some songs in the summertime and and kind of uh, get into the Christmas mode, even when you're on vacation in Jamaica, enjoying the hot sun. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it, it, that, that has happened every now and then, I will admit that. Uh, yeah, it, it is hard. I mean, for me, though, the only time I can't really listen to Christmas or sing Christmas is January. Uh, once February rolls around, I'm willing to restart it up again. It doesn't bother me. Um, so, I mean, I'm constantly singing Christmas songs around the house, like mm. March, April, May. Um, my family hates me, but it's cool. It's fun. Um, <laughs> it. And <laughs> it just it throws people off, right? Like it's like it's beginning of June, you know, flowers are out, people are cutting their grass, and I'm out there cutting my grass. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And everybody's like, <laughs> shut up. It's cool. It's fun. <laughs> I love it. I know. I'm with you. 100%. I just, that's, that's great. <laughs> well, that's the reason why one of the lines in the song is like, I just wish this lasted all through the year because it's such a joyous time. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, what other time of the year is are people are most happy, most giving, most, you know, I mean, I do know that there's the hustle and bustle and some stresses related to Christmas, but that's because people put that on themselves. But all in all, they put all the stresses on because in the end, they like the end result, which is the family get togethers, the food, the decorations and the food. And, you know, between the theme food, here. the gifts and the food. Yeah, she said the food. She said the food like like three times. Either, either she's hungry, either she's hungry right now, or she's trying to tell somebody in the house something. And she's like, and food, you know, and food. You know, I'm hungry. And food. <laughs> Did we talk about manna from heaven? It's food. It's just, food. Yeah, just throwing stuff out there. It's funny yeah. you say that, but it's true about the season of Christmas. You go to different family members' homes <clears throat> and you get food, and you you know, and so throughout the period of this that season, you could have you know dinners at people's homes and in the restaurants or whatever. It's just like yeah, fatten the calf. Yeah, yeah there, there you go. <laughs> so. I think that we need to listen to this song. Now, Randy, I know that you had some ideas about the song. I remember from a previous episode that you had some ideas on how the song should sound. I don't know what your anticipation is, but I'm hoping that you'll be pleased by it. Wait, I'm just, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy. Because I was actually, when I got the email from you, I was like, oh, she did it. Good for her. That's great. Mm -hmm. So I have no expectations going into this. So. No expectations? All right. No, I'm, I'm know... just bring it on. Bring it on? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> bring it on. Okay. Well, here it is, everyone. This is the song that was on my little phone that is now something new that's been produced. It's been mastered, and now it's here. I'm introducing to you Christmas is Calling. Waking up to a brand new day Frost in the morning's coming my way Snowflakes painted on every window Santa jingle bells on every sleigh Everyone is spreading holiday cheer Oh, how I this season lasted all through the year. People gather wearing red, white, and green to celebrate the nativity scene. I hear the church bells ring, everybody singing Christmas carols in whatever key they hear it, and hopes are high, loves in the air. Cause Christmas is calling, Christmas is calling. Picking up the perfect evergreen tree Favorite decorations enter the scene Bright lights and garland draping the stairway Mistletoe being hung on the doorway Mom and grandma baby 
Girl, nice job, everybody. Thank you. Nice job. Little Whitney Houston at the end there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Good. laughs> Love it. And you got you put the gospel message in the middle of it. Beautiful. Good mm. job. Good job. And that's Let's what see. I wanted. A lot of Christmas songs don't have that. No. <laughs> that's very well done, Cheryl. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And so I know I know Noreen is not here to talk about it, but I, if she was here, I'd be asking her, so did I get the sultry voice? And I couldn't have done it without Andrew's help, though, because Andrew when we, was in the studio with me, and he taught mm -hmm. me that sometimes mm -hmm. I have to get yeah. myself into that mood. And, right. Right. you know, everyone does something a little bit different in the studio. For me, it was the moving. I had to actually sway like I'm slow dancing, mm -hmm. I guess. Was it like slow dancing? Yeah. Anyways, like I had to yes, sway. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had to slow dance <clears throat> in front of the microphone while I was singing this song to get that waking up to that sound. Right. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's like, wow, there's a lot of different mm -hmm. things that we could do to help make the this proper sound come out. But then, of course, the big joke was trying to get that that is it a rasp i don't know what it was but getting yeah. that, mm -hmm. that going on and yeah, every yeah, time yeah, i yeah. did it without the recording i got it and and andrew was sitting there going okay as soon as you put record he just can't get it. And, and it, <laughs> I, uh, she went right back to the I'm wizard sorry. of oz i know, you know it's just yeah you put it you put her on there and dorothy comes out and she's like Oh, and I'm like, no, no, I want to growl at it. I want to, ah, come on, give me a little rock and roll. And she's like, okay. Oh. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was waiting for her to click her heels together and disappear after three times, but you know, yeah, little Miss Dorothy Toto came running through the studio. It was great. That's funny. Yes, I think though, with this track. Moments. Yeah, with this track, the musical part of it was really well done. If uh, Daryl was able to let me hear just the instrumentation, it was just amazing. The type of uh, instrumentation, and the layerings, and the dynamics that were placed into the the music itself. And uh, mm -hmm. um, so, my hats off to the producer for that. That was it. Was really helped to to embrace the vocals. 
Yes, kudos to Anthony. I'm like, I was just cheering now because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but that yes, kudos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so kudos to Anthony uh, Piano of Exodus Studios. He was the one that made that musical arrangement uh, based on just some of the sample songs that we provided for him. And one of the things that I that he did that I really loved was that he got well there's a few things he did but one of the things was the key changes i don't usually mm -hmm. hear modulations, a lot of key changes yeah. in so yeah. modulations in songs yeah. and so when he offered that i said yes i don't hear that i'd mm -hmm. love to hear that mm -hmm. so modulations and hearing that key change even when we went from christmas cross right going right that's there right. i was like oh right. that's so awesome i love that so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm so glad he was able to put that in there and of and for Dale's request, Daryl was going, well, there's got to be bells and there's got to be sleigh bells. And I thought, well, what's the difference? Christmas bells what's the are difference? supposed to be there. Yeah. There's sleigh, <laughs> right? No, sleigh bells and bells are two different things. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I didn't realize there was a difference. And he put them both and chimes. So he got, got all of oh, it yeah, in there yeah. tastefully, which was really awesome. Yeah. So and you know really what? At the that. at the end, after the bridge, you can see or you can actually hear a vocal change. Like you're, you go from a... Uh, head kind Your of dynamics chest. yeah and dynamics change you step you did what i you did what i was telling you to do you started <laughs> off low and you you built by the yeah, way yeah. yes you listen you were See, listening to was, me weren't you i was Wait, i was <laughs> you know what would be really cool though too what? just for perspective just as a side you know like send me the tracks and let me mix them and send them back to you too and give you a different perspective on them. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just you know, just just for fun. It's, it would be nothing. Oh. I just because it, that's another thing for like when they're doing the producing hubs when you do all that. Okay, this is how the. I mean, I love the way it was done. It's excellent. How would you do? Mm. How would you do? You know, and uh, now. Were all the arrangements as far as the instrumentation all done within mostly keyboard work other than like the drums and stuff like that? Was that all like, so. you know, the, the, the horns and whatever? You have yeah, to ask Anthony. Else? You have to ask because they're all, all probably done on keyboard. Or some of them were samples, so they weren't really. Yeah, that sounds so like good. samples. Yeah. Everything yeah. was keyboard so, based. Everything was keyboard except based. Including the drums? Everything. Including the drums. I. Uh, Yes. Daryl says drums, yes. So I mean, there was that. you can get some good sounding drums. But there was one life thing that I that I found out there was his wife plays guitar and I think oh, nice. she mm -hmm. actually did a few um she did some live guitar in that as well. Hmm. Which I found out after. <laughs> right. So cool. No, it sounded fun. I'm, I'm I use triggering drum samples. I use Superior Drummer all the time now. Because I'm able mm. because I learned from my last recording project uh, when you have all that bleed and something goes sideways and you can't yeah, making re drums and you is can't. Yeah, no. yeah. So that's why you see an elect a piece of an electronic kit right there because mm -hmm. I, yeah. I just tr do trigger work. So it's this mm -hmm. the way everything sounds these days with your samples. You cannot tell the difference between live yeah. drums and know, these know. anymore it's true it's like it used to be no it used to be in it but not anymore yeah totally yeah, and then I, I then i pop them through all that um all that analog gear back there after i track them once i make sure everything's lined up i just redo them through the poltex and stuff and make and just fatten them up and they, they now, sound like let pure just, analog let drums. me let me just try to get back to the song when i was talking to Cheryl. the the when the bridge comes in you drop everything right down and that i think was vital um because mm. you had a nice toe tapper and then for a bridge i always like a bridge that's divergent it kind of goes off on its own tangent i like that um um but th in this particular case you did that and brought it right down to a uh, really uh, intimate and it was kind of neat and then it just there was a contrast for the very last uh, of course they were just like in your face so um yeah, yeah I, I thought dynamically it, w it had some real good strong strong points yeah um again kudos to anthony on that one he mm -hmm. actually said you know he had when he was doing the music whether to make it drive even more during the bridge or mm -hmm. whether to take it right down right. and one of the things i said to him was you know 
when we first met was this I'd love the journey take our take yeah. the audience or the listener onto a journey and mm -hmm. you know a little bit like so they're they're following along so to speak audibly with you know tracking with me on seeing what I'm seeing and hearing the things that I'm hearing and then kind of being happy when I'm happy but then right. it's time to reflect and it's time to really think about what what mm -hmm. is all this from like why mm -hmm. why are people so happy why do we have the trees why do we have lights why do we have food why do we have like why is all this happening well the core of it is this it all started with nativity scene it all started with this baby who was the spirit of love and the spirit of hope at Christmas, you know? So now the Christ in Christmas is calling you, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's that's kind of the, the thought process there. And um, yeah. yeah, as you said, Randy, right off the bat, that the, the gospel message is right in the center. And I'm hoping that people who hear this song, um, they have fun with it, that they hear the joy, they 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 themselves get the joy get that hope get that excitement um kind of embrace the the happiness of the season but also recognize that the source of all that joy and all that hope comes from from jesus it does come from him and it, you know we wouldn't have christmas if he wasn't born we wouldn't have christmas if he didn't even come right we i don't think that holiday would even exist so um i think it's just something that helps people not only enjoy the traditions but understand the source of those traditions yeah and and be happy with them and be happy mm -hmm. right so yeah so i'm hoping that that will happen well the good news about that is that i have i i personally did send it out to radio stations and then i had someone else um someone else who grabbed onto the song said how about i send this out to the radio stations for you um so before he, that person did that and i do thank him for doing that um uh there were a couple of radio stations that got back to me and said that they were actually going to play it on radio so i'm thrilled that joy radio is going to be playing it and the another streaming station called christmas i think it's just called christmas songs radio um is going to be playing it as well um so i'm happy about that um, a lot of people, and, and I think, Randy, you know this station, K-Love. Everyone wants K-Love to play the song. I have no idea if they will. <laughs> you know, they, they do have the song. They did write back and say, we've received your song, and we'll let you know if we're going to play it or not. That's pretty much how it went. So. Mm -hmm. I'll, really, I, I, I'll be floored because I'll be driving home from work, and if I hear that, I'm going to probably go off the road. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah then i'll be blamed and you won't be they won't play the song anymore because they'll say your no. song causes accidents <laughs> i live in new york everything causes accidents but that's oh. another story <laughs> so if if so. our listeners or viewers out there would like to hear this song live there's actually an opportunity to do that because we are doing uh well a local uh tour maybe we could talk a bit about that we're doing a little bit a few shows and we'll have Cheryl sing that song. And of course, I'll be singing my song. And Andrew has some material of his, of his own as well. And so um, the, the three of us will be highlighting some songs in, as well as other people involved. So it's, it's going to be a, uh, a quite fun thing to see. It will be. We've had, op I've actually um, been fielding a few calls about singing for Christmas. And so there's a couple churches that are that have been reached that have reached out saying they would like us to come and do some Christmas music. And I don't know at the time of that this ends up airing, we may that may have already happened, but um uh I know that we will be doing something for Mississauga City Baptist Church, which they do the Light the Night Festival, which is something that happens um middle of December. This, this year it's December sixteenth and and uh it's something that they do for the community an outdoor event that they do for the community and it's really really fun and we've been asked to add the music so yes there'll be opportunity to sing that song there uh december 17th which is the day after the sunday there's opportunity to sing that song for another church lauren park baptist church um there is opportunity to sing it um oh i i skipped one december 6th December 6th is also at Cope Town United Church. Um, there's that opportunity to sing it there too. 
and um, at that point this point that's all I know but there's a few others that are popping up and asking for for some Christmas music as well and we're just uh, waiting to see what will happen unless that's Andrew exciting. you have some more thoughts <laughs> I wish I did. Um, I have no thoughts on anything anymore. It's my age, but that's okay. Uh, no, December six. Yeah, December six is going to be a fun show. Um, I was reminded about it the other day. Uh, yeah, D uh, Dale, you're singing at it. Uh, Cheryl Dixon Neal. I think there's a choir. Uh, Cheryl, mm -hmm. you're going to be singing at it as well. Uh, it's going to be a fun night. Um, just an hour and a half, seven to eight thirty, if I'm correct. On yeah. Is it Wednesday, December 6th? Am I correct on that? Yes. He said it's Wednesday, December 6th. Yes. All right. So, Cope Town United Church, if you need more details, check the GMI Hub page. Uh, and okay. then stay in contact with them for, oh, is it, what is it, gmihub.ca, right? Yep. Oh, oh, I'm getting good. Uh, see, I haven't <laughs> forgotten everything. Um, and then and then check out their Facebook page as well. Subscribe, link, uh, do all those things. Favorite them mm -hmm. uh, so you can keep up to date with all the news. And uh, if there's any pastors out there, uh, you need to book uh, Cheryl and Dale and have them come in. Dale has another great uh, Christmas song out, Ring the Bells. Um, and there's another one he does as well called Christmas Joy. Um, that He's really good at singing that one as well. And uh, so I, I just think you need to... Contact these guys, have them into your church, uh, bring them in on Sunday mornings, and uh, I know your congregation will love it, you'll love it, and uh, let everybody be blessed a little bit by their voices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Awesome. Indeed. <laughs> and for those that are in the States, we'll stream in. <laughs> That's right. That's Randy. right. They can stream. <laughs> just for Randy. <laughs> That's just so for Cheryl, now, just for him. Now, that, now that the song's done and mastered from where it is now to what it was when it was initially kind of thought of, what's your, your thoughts of how far has it come? Is it what you thought it would be? Or is it like, well, where's your head in the, as far as the song now you listen to it go, well, that's not what I expected. Or is it like, oh, that's what I wanted? It was, it's actually beyond my expectations, to be honest with you. Um, I'll, uh, if you can imagine, I, uh, okay, I have grade one piano. So I, me sitting at a piano, I only know a certain chord pattern when it comes to writing songs. This is one that I, I tend to do all the time and I don't even know the proper title for this particular chord pattern. But if you know heart and soul, that chord pattern is what I think has been drilled inside of me. So I tend to use that chord pattern a lot. And so you can imagine, if you can imagine this, it went from a song that was on my phone to me trying to find chords and all I knew how to do were these four chords. So I kept trying to fit the song into these four chords. And then when that Anthony, who is a jazz player and he's the producer as well, and he plays and, and he, I only know four chords and he knows 16 chords around the four chords that I know. So here he was putting extra chords in that I thought, I never knew that could exist, you know, and um, and to be honest, with you, it's like I was blown away the first time that I heard the music when he when he was done with it, and he was actually nervous. He thought I wasn't gonna like it, and I was I was blown. Like I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. I it went beyond my imagination. It was mm -hmm. awesome, and you know, we just wanted it like for for me. Um, I guess the beautiful thing about it is I wanted the song to be a song that was that the level of the the quality of the music was raised high raised to an excellent level and I mm -hmm. wanted um, and I think that was captured I think that yeah. was captured um, the way he did it and so again I, I wish he was here uh, so we can say thank mm -hmm. you but if he's watching this um, Anthony we appreciate you and thank you so much for all that you did on this particular song it's absolutely awesome and I'm happy <laughs> that's great I, I need and to this sell. song's going to be available on Bandcamp right that's right. It's going to yeah. be available at jmihub.bandcamp.com if you want to get a listen on it and you have the opportunity to purchase it for yourself. And it could be your Christmas gift. They just need to purchase it. Just just purchase it. Purchase just, it. Yeah. Purchase just, it just for purchase friends. It. If yes, you don't yes. like the song, purchase it for an enemy. What a way to get even. Yes. Like whatever you do, purchase <laughs> this song. Yes. I Just go in and exactly. buy it, buy, buy it, buy it. Buy now. Yeah, buy now. And, and, and call your radio stations. If, you, if you're not hearing it, call yeah. them 
and say, listen, I've heard the best Mariah Carey song, no, Cheryl Duick song, <laughs> and it's Christmas is Calling. I want it on the radio and uh, get them to contact you. And you can also listen on Spotify and all these That's areas. Right. Put them in your playlists and listen over and over and over again. Support Cheryl, uh, support GMI yes, yes. and all they're doing. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, I'll put in a good word okay. in the U.S. for K-Love. Awesome. Yay. I need to, I need to hear this song. I don't know where it is, but I need to hear it. Yeah. They actually we actually have a radio link. Um it's a hidden link for for radio stations. So um we can definitely get that to them if they want to download it. And that same radio yeah. link has Dale's song and a few other songs That's that right. we have had That's in right. previous um compilation albums. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Has Andrew's so song definitely. as well. Yes, it does. Uh, <laughs> two of them. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Oh, there is two. So, Sorry, I forgot that. Yeah. See, it's, hey, there goes yeah. that forgetting thing again. I'm like, two? <laughs> yeah, there is two. Okay, <laughs> never mind. There is two. There is two. So so guess what this means now, guys? I've Now, we'll see how, how Christmas is calling goes. But now, guess what the challenge is for me? And Daryl is the one that gave me the challenge. Guess what it is? <laughs> I have to work towards write doing more. an album now. Yeah, That's it. What, what? I have to write more. I have to write more, record more, and make an album. Make an album. Now, is this a is this a Christmas album? Is it going to be adult contemporary gospel? What are you aiming for? Give us a little tease. I... <sighs> wow. I want the scoop. Uh... I feel like this is like a newscast station. I we want the scoop. <laughs> I have an idea. Uh -oh. What's your idea? What's your idea? Why don't you Randy? mix it up? Mix it up? Mix it up. Well, I think that Cheryl's got a You've big got heart all these for worship music. Influences. Yes, You've got she's me got a big heart for worship. Yeah, Christian, sure. uh, uh, um, uh, Christian contemporary rock and country style, a uh, more acoustic ballad. And you've got a, a person who does programming keyboard work. You've got a jazz songwriter. You can literally, if you want to, Expand your horizons, mm -hmm. mix it up, put all different mm. types. Of, there's no reason it has to be set, which gets more impressive because people like start to freak out because like one song is like jazz, the next song can be gospel, the next song can be contemporary Christian. Just those kind of albums are not common. Mm. And if you've got, if you end up getting a bunch of people involved. It's going to make it that much easier because you're going to get totally different perspectives from everybody that com contributes. Mm -hmm. Just a suggestion. That's right. Yeah, and I'd like to challenge Cheryl to put an album together too. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> 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 well, now now the challenge is getting all the songs. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, and you know so, that's 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 doable. That's doable. Come on, you've got the talent. We just have, we got resources right within our own group of people that we know, Andrew, right. myself, and, and a few people, that we could do a writing session. It would be it'd be so easy just to have fun with that. So 2024. I've got a lot of ideas. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. 2024. I'm finishing up one album, and I'm, I've got a lot of ideas going forward into my next recording. So. Yeah. Nice. Ice. You Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does that mean, Randy, you're writing songs for me? <laughs> um, well, we'll see. As the Lord leads, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to definitely be, well, honestly, I'm going to be getting close to retirement soon. That's all I want to do once I stop. Once I stop working, so. Mm. We'll see. Wow. Well, I, I, have been, I have been writing for Cheryl. Cheryl, I played you a song already that I've written for you. And so mm -hmm. I'm excited about potentially what, what can happen in the days ahead. Awesome. I guess that's part of the album too. <laughs> like, well, yeah, it depends if it makes the cut. Yeah, sure. There you go. So there you go. I have my handy dandy little phone is going to get yep. ready. <laughs> start re start recording little tunes in the middle of the night. And then the next step for me will be clunking it on the piano. And then the next step after that will be presenting it to everyone else who knows how to play better than me and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I was just about to say, what was your process in writing, writing the song? But you just kind of open, talked about it right there. Um, yeah. But you had, you had that, a concept for a Christmas song that somebody was kind of bugging you about to do. <laughs> and then you start, I'm not going to say who that was. And, and then you started 
<laughs> and then you started doing some kind of concepts, some ideas, and then it came to you playing your grade one piano and figuring out kind of. So that process, how, uh, it, it's been a long period, or has it been a short period of time? This song is three years old. This song, I actually was, um, I don't have it. This is not the right phone that it's on, but the previous phone that this song was on, um, I had a date and the date was, I think, uh, May or April of 2019. It was just, wow. it was a very, this, that's when the song bite came. And, mm. and it's been a process of over three years of making this song. And again, part of the reason was um, developing that thought. I, I, I think I just had the chorus, just the Christmas is calling. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and even some of the things that, even some of the, the, um, the, the, one of the lines I have in there is like people singing in whatever key they hear it in, singing Christmas mm -hmm. carols in whatever key they hear it in. And I said, that's a kind of a crazy line, but it's so true because there's so many people that, that want to sing and they don't always sing on key. They just, but they just want to sing. They're making a joyful noise and, but they don't care. They just don't care mm -hmm. <laughs> right so right. but it's yeah. all part of the the season and so anyway but part of the writing process was was getting that concept and one of the challenges i had with that was actually putting that concept into words for a verse i didn't know what what how to make a verse i didn't even know how to make the the bridge mm -hmm. how the bridge should have sounded and so i battled with that as well and um yeah so but I, you know what after talking with people and sharing it with other people getting some ideas and and input you know i have to say collaboration is the way to go like mm -hmm. the collaborating and the getting the ideas really really helped in making the song the way it is so i even though i can say it's quote unquote my song i i, I say it very um gingerly because I feel like it's not just my song it's everyone had a have a piece of the pie on this one everyone played mm -hmm. a part in this particular song so it's hard for me to actually claim it as my song but but um but it did start with this mm -hmm. the sound bite that came to me it did start that way and yes it, the next step was trying to plunk it out on the piano with my grade one piano skills. Um, then it was um, present, then I was challenged to present that with uh, to to other people to see what they would think about that and how that can develop. Another challenge was getting the verses and how do I get those verses? So trying to apply thoughts like what does Christmas mean to me? And what are the things that I have seen at Christmas time? So I tried to put it all together with you know, you know, from my little Christmas tree with the lights to garland on the stairs to mistletoe to um, uh, baking, lots of baking, lots of food, and <laughs> to <laughs> we're losing her again. We're losing her again. Food, 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 food. Back to food. <laughs> Food's very important. It's part of the deal. I don't know. I'm getting hungry now. That's all I know. I'm hungry. I come on this show waiting to lose a few pounds. Now I'm hungry. It's like, what the heck? Hey, I'm trying to lose too, but Christmas is calling. So Christmas is calling. That's, that's, I think that's cookies are calling, but that's a, yeah. Thanksgiving is calling. Christmas is yeah. calling. Yeah. New Year's is That's calling. right. <laughs> New belts. Are exactly. Calling. You got all these together. You got all these ideas of Christmas, and then then you were focusing on the bridge, right? That was the, the next right. kind of like, ah, what am I going to do? So talk a bit well, about that. Well, the bridge. Well, the bridge. With the bridge, I will say this: one of the things that uh, one of the challenges I did have was that I wanted the song to somehow come back to the gospel message, come back to the whole purpose of Christmas. I wanted to come back to the nativity scene. And I even had it in the verse, I was coming back to the nativity scene. And I thought the bridge should actually, in a sense, explain why I'm saying go back to the nativity scene. So um, 
again, that was a bit of a challenge because I didn't know how to do that. But thanks to, and Andrew helped me out on this one because he, he suggested, or he came up with a, some thoughts on what could be there. And, um, in terms of the bridge, I had, I had part of some thoughts, but not completed thoughts. Anthony, who, um, again was producing the song he's the one that suggested you know what expand your bridge i was thinking come up with thing he was saying no you need eight lines you need to find a way to explain the bridge a little bit longer so mm -hmm. um between anthony's challenge andrew's input and my little bit as well between the three of us we got the bridge that we did and i'm pretty happy with that that's good. Now, the ending, I, I you did a lot more um, like Motown feel. I don't know how to explain it, but there was a lot of stuff happening in there that what brought you to that level? Was that an influence that maybe Andrew had on you? I don't know. I just think it's I hear it. And I say, Andrew probably said, let's go there. So influence. <clears> hmm. <throat> Um, it wasn't just Andrew. It was Andrew, it was Anthony, and it was Daryl. <laughs> and they were yeah, all Darryl. saying, sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, I can see Daryl right now going, honey, this is my two cents. We gotta go. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> um, in a sense, well, there's always been the, um, well, Daryl has always said that I, 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 I have this ability to to um, sing really, really strong at, at the end. Like I can really bring it and soft, really, I can start really soft, but I can really bring it. And he's like, stop holding back, really bring it. And I remember, I don't know, Andrew, if you remember this in the studio, I remember that when we got to a certain part and it's like, okay, now we're gonna sing the end and um, this, you need to ad lib it. And you, and you kept saying, um, sing it like it's your song Cheryl and I, I and I, I literally I don't know if you knew this I was actually stuck I actually sat there and said I don't know what to do I froze mm. when I heard the song and I thought I don't know what to do now I don't know where to go I don't know how to ad lib it mm. and again this is where I was thankful that Andrew would being there because he was hearing certain things that could work and he said try this try this mm -hmm. so that little there's a dip that i do at the end um which was um i don't know if i can remember how it goes now but there was a little like um love's uh, in the air yeah. that's the yeah. one yeah love is in the air that's it and he and he said try and do that so i went okay i'll do that i'll do that so i went down i went up there and he went yes that's it that's the one i said okay we're keeping that and then and then um the I don't remember the other life. Uh, then I started going higher, um, but I think that was just me trying to go higher. <laughs> and then, and then the Christmas is calling you at the end. To uh, honestly, it was almost like a fluke because I was ready to keep singing along, and the song ended. And I went, Christmas is calling you. It's gone. The song's gone. Okay, and we're done. And then he went, that, Whitney. That was, that was <laughs> the point. Yeah, that was the point in the song that she went. What would Whitney do? And she just took off. No, I'm kidding. She didn't. She didn't say that. It wasn't WWW. What would Whitney do? Yeah, WWW. What would Whitney do? WWW. Oh my gosh. I'm just here to help. That's all I'm here for. It actually ended. Comic relief. Comic relief. But that's how that's how vocally um, it mm -hmm. came together at the very end. It was like just let loose and and really just capture what I keep saying I wanted to capture the joy, the happiness. Like now it's my turn to be joyful and happy and going. This is awesome. Like this is Christmas. Mm -hmm. So um, and and also singing and I I do make a point of trying to smile while I'm singing as well. And I was told that I, that people could actually hear that, which was kind of cool, that people mm -hmm. can actually hear me smiling, going, you know, like, Christmas is calling. And they just <laughs> loved hearing that, right? And so I was like, hey, yay. So like I said, I hope the song is contagious. I hope that, mm -hmm. that when people hear it, that they, um, they feel just as happy. I have visions of... I have visions of people hearing the song and like couples deciding to do the little two-step dance together and just dancing and just having fun at Christmas. And I just just want that to happen. Just want people to be joyous and happy and and again know the core reason why that joy is there and why that hope mm -hmm. is there. And it's because 
Jesus being the hope and the love that he is. He is the reason why we celebrate the season. He is the Christ in Christmas. And Amen. that is the reason why Christmas is coming. Yeah.